Hi there. Welcome to PageLayer. I am your PageLayer buddy, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to use Quote Widget. Let's start by dragging and dropping the Quote Widget from the left widget panel. On the right side is the display screen of your site, where you can view the live changes of your website. Here, on the left hand side you will see different properties of your Quote Widget. First we will see content from here you can write your review or anything else as per your need. Also you can change background color as per your needs. You can also change text color as per your needs. From here you can set the space between different contents. Let's set top as 20 pixels and bottom as 10 pixels. From here you can set the typography to your quote widget. First is the font family where you can set the font family to your quote. Page layer consists of more than 100 Google fonts. You can choose as per your need from the list of fonts by just typing the font name in the search bar. Let's choose Poppins font for our quotes. Next is the font size, from where you can set the size of your quote with selected font family. Next is the font style, where you can change the style of your font to normal, oblique and italic. Let's choose font style as default for now. Next is the font weight, from where you can choose the weight of your font. There are a list of different font weights available. Let's choose 500 for our quotes. Next is the font variant, where you can choose the variants of your font to normal or small caps. Let's choose default for now. Next is the decoration line from where you can choose the line decoration to your quotes from the list of line decorations viz. None where no line will be displayed, overline where the line will be displayed on the top of the quote, line through where the line will be displayed on the quotes, underline where the line will be displayed at the bottom of the quotes. Underline overline where the line will be displayed on the top as well as at the bottom to the quotes. Let's choose underline for now. Next is the decoration style, from where you can set the line style to your quotes viz. Solid, double, dotted, dashed, and wavy. Let's choose solid for now. Next is the line height from where you can specify the height of the line to your quotes. Next is the text transform from where you can choose the text transformation to capitalize, uppercase, and lowercase. Let's choose capitalize for now. Next is the text spacing from where you can set the space between your text alphabets. Next is the word spacing, from where you can set the space between different words in your content. Next is quote style tab from where you can style your quotation as per your need. There are two quote style viz quotation and double quotation. Let's choose the quotation for now. You can set the position to your quotation as default or overlay from here. Next is the size from where you can set the size of your quotation. Let's keep it 70 for now. From here you can choose the color in which your quote is to be displayed. Next is the alignment from where you can set the alignment of your quotation to left, center or right. Let's choose the left for now. Next is the site tab from where you can assign name of the site person example, quote author name. And can also give the author URL over here through which on click of insight it will redirect you to the author's profile. Next is color from where you can set the color of your site name. Set the alignment to left, center or right. You can also change the typography by clicking on this edit option and can set the font family, size etc. Next is the left border tab from where you can set the width of your left border. Let's assign 10 for now. You can also change the color of your border from here. and can set the left spacing between content and border from here. Next is top bottom spacing which will allow you to set space between top and bottom of the content. Don't forget to save your changes. To save your work click the update option. To preview your work click on this eye icon and you are good to go.
For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to pagelayer.com/docs.